Josh and Chad from CMSAS and we're doing a comparison video of the GI G4 Blazing Hog and the Echo One Scar. You want to talk about yours a little bit first? Yeah, right now uh, there's no internal upgrades at all. I just have a normal M203 grenade launcher, a silencer, and just a flashlight, and just the iron sights that came with the gun, no red dots, no zoom scopes. Um, Oh, and mag. oh yeah, and uh, 130 round mid cap mag with a pull tab made by Magpul. And the custom paint drop on the yeah. drop snake skin. skin. So um, my gun uh, is extra. Uh, it's just the GIG4 Blazing Hog. I have my 130 round mid cap in here and the uh, tactical foregrip. This is not my gun, so I did not put the attachments on. It also comes with the uh, Noveski. Uh, flash slash amplifier, uh, flash fire slash amplifier, but I have the one chip on just for safety right now. Um, <clears throat> my gun is extremely durable, extremely, 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 extremely durable. Um, this is a, the, the only metal thing on the rails, or on the gun is met, uh, the rails are metal, Daniel Defense rails, which are probably some of the best rails in the market, and the rest of the gun is the custom, uh, plastic that is made by G&G, &G, which um, the Airsoft GI company and G&G &G teamed up and made this amazing assault rifle, which is extremely durable. I dropped it from 10 feet, then 8 feet, then 6 feet, and the only thing that actually broke was dis uh, hurt to the gun is the fire selector switch snapped off. And the so, uh, buttstock just came off. Oh, and, yeah, the buttstock came off, which is rubber, and which comes right off anyway. But that's it. I mean, it's extremely durable, and uh, nothing's going to happen. This is also a blowback gun. Um, you can't really see it, and it's out of charge, so it's not really going to do that full um, blowback. Um, it has very nice laser engraved trademarks, and then also it is very, very accurate. It comes with a uh, 6.03 millimeter barrel. So this is a really nice gun. I would give it probably for assault rifles. I'd probably give it a 10. Um, which is really, really good. Maybe nine and a half, but this is amazing. So um, this gun that I have, I don't have it set up for CQB at all. This is my main weapon. I'm mostly a sniper because I don't like moving up very much. I like to shoot at people behind the boards uh, and hide down low. Uh, I don't let a lot of people know where I am when I'm playing here. So if somebody knows where you are, somebody can easily run up, knife you shoot you just with their sidearm. So, but usually I will have a 3 by 9 times 40 scope on this, which I don't have right now, or even a red dot. Um, I really like this. It's full metal, so it's not going to break. It's, yeah. I mean, full metal, as you know, it's not a full metal gun. It's just whatever's metal on the real thing is real on this. Is metal, so it has a nice hand grip. Uh, whole entire top receiver is all metal. And the whole entire lower receiver, I'm pretty sure, is either a polymer, polymer or ABS. So, really, um, really, really durable. Um, I would probably, um, depending on, I mean, this is can be used for so many different things. Just get a uh, silencer or a barrel extension, make this a bit longer, put a scope on it. You, or you could just get the different version of this, the DMR, which is sniper ready and automatic. So, I'm going to give this a 10. But also the scar is extremely, extremely accurate, and it has long range, and it has a very long barrel already. So if I mean, and it has this, a foldable stock, yeah, it, and it can be, and you can take the uh, barrel off and it make it to really close down. So I mean, they can both be two completely different things. I mean, you can make this pretty small; it's not that long. You could uh, keep this in and stock all the way, and it'd be pretty small for CQB. And you could put the scars stock in and take the barrel off and it'd be extremely short for CQB also. So, And they're both really accurate for long range. I think I'm going to tie for both probably. of these. Well, the only reason that I'd probably take this, o this gun over the scar is because of the blowback. Yeah. Uh, so that's probably the only reason why and you can get upgrades to the scar to make it blowback. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm going to probably take a tie. The only reason I take this over it, that is because this is blowback. Yeah. So, I mean, they're both really nice guns and I both and both of you, guys, any of you guys can check this, these guns out. They're both on airsoftgi.com. I'm pretty sure this is $240 with no battery. And that is 
Oh, well, I don't know what it's on Airsoft Trap, but I know I bought it for 270 at the, with a 30-day uh, warranty. At the big shop. Room. So, Which, with shipping and handling, that's probably what it's going to end up be from Airsoft GI. Yeah. So, this has been Josh and Chad, Team SAS. Thanks for watching.